Well, perfect time to uh, go to the park, uh, you know, Huntsville State Park, uh, because, again, it's just kind of loud. So I was planning on going anyways, but it's like, okay, it's a leaf blower day. Well, every day is a leaf blower day, but you know what I mean, so. hi uh, yeah. All right, let's do it again. Mm. No, it's still pretty firmly in there. All right, so I was a bit worried about this. Um, so down here behind me is the park. Behind me now, you can see the power lines, right? And I was worried about this because I saw on the satellite uh, map, Google Maps, I saw that they're building out new subdivisions and there's a house yonder here. And I, you can hear, I think you can hear the, um, you can see the house behind there. Let's zoom in. That's a house, up oh, right there. So we're gonna try to stock up here. And of course the problem with houses being built here is this is right at the edge of the park. I think this still could technically be the park. That's the road, I can see it. On the satellites and you can see it there. I don't know if we're supposed to be here. I'm just assuming we are. I mean, that's going to be a public road, I think, right? Gosh. Now, construction noise, again, it's like whatever, right? But there's a porta potty down there. Don't know if it comes across, doesn't matter. Well, there's some trucks down there for sure. Let's zoom in. Is that coming near us? So I, I did see this on the satellite there. I think you also see some uh, solar panels there. Yep. So I'm gonna have to look this up and see what this is, but I, I've seen the, yeah, you can see the, uh, You know, construction noise is not bad, but again, you have tons of people around that's like, ugh, kind of ruining the park vibe, right? All right, so this is what we saw just a few minutes ago. Maybe it's a retention pond or something for flooding. I don't know. Now this is the good stuff. All right, so uh, after stumbling over myself almost, I did find out with just a little bit of internet sleuthing of where the fuck we are. You see, that's already a finished house. Um, I don't think Zoom works. Does Zoom work? No, it doesn't work on this one. Uh, the Screen Recorder app does not do Zoom, but you can kind of see a house there. It's not lived in. You can see sort of, I think, maybe a dumpster. Doesn't matter, but it's a house. Now, I looked on Redfin, which is what we're looking at because it's a screen capture app. I looked it up and saw, yeah, they're selling all these lots here. Uh, there's a finished one, let's see, for 650. I saw 184 Texas Grand Ranch, so I kind of Googled that. That's that's what it is. That's the developer here. 150, uh, let's see, 165. That's already a finished home, 3,000 square feet, 6,500, 650,000, right? It's 3,000, okay. Doesn't matter, but we know where we are, okay? The 125, uh, what was the Texas Grand We saw Texas Grand Ranch. Doesn't matter. Just scroll back. I don't know where it is. And he, oh, there we go. So Texas Grand Ranch. Actually, let me see. What, what's this property? Mm -hmm. uh, Hoa. Okay. 1.6 acres. Now that's, see, that's that's already a little misleading because let's look at 90 here. All right. Uh, 
1.75 acres, 120. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Two acres. Where are some bigger ones? What's a 200? And that's just the land, right? You see that nothing's been built. Only the 650 one was built. Uh, this is three acres. So let's see here. 151, 137. Just, just to get a flavor for what the hell's going on here. Uh, two point two and a quarter acres, you know. Uh, let's see here. So that's basically it. And as we saw, Texas Grand Ranch was... Oh, we did it. I, are we hitting the same one or, or are half of them just have that generic one? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this is where we are. Now, let's go over here. Oh, what a coincidence. This audiobook is open. Anyways, we'll do a review of that. I want to re-listen to it again. But this is basically Texas Grand Ranch. And this is where it is because it says, just north of Houston is a paradise that sits over 300 feet in elevation. National Forest on one side, State Park on the other. That's where, right, that's where we are right now. These two to five acre lots will be protected for life. Well, I don't know, protected from the sanity of not listening to leaf floors. I don't know. But, um... Again, it's not even the construction noise. It's the, you know that this place is just going to be loud. You know, just, ah, eh, just ruin this too. So I don't know. This is not the only trail here, obviously. This is the boundary trail. And, you know, there's better trails as well that go through more of the center of the park. But I kind of, I, yeah, this has got to be coming through. But I love the little pine trees or whatever he, here that kind of sway in the wind and you can hear it. It's a very soothing noise. So it's not the noise that bothers me, it's the certain kinds of noise that's that's not the natural kind of soothing sounds. But, but anyways, I'm actually gonna check this place out. I don't know, um, they're not right now too much, but it's kind of, I might have seen a billboard for this on the highway, uh, but this is basically what it, what it is. So that's, I don't know, they, they kind of wanna like, pimp this out to uh, veterans more. I don't think you can in anywhere say only veterans or something, but I don't know. They're, they're focusing on it. Oh, that's Mattress Mac. Well, let me tell you my Mattress fucking Mac story. So if you're in Houston, you know that this guy's always on the TV yelling about uh, gallery furniture, right? He used to sell things by the highway. I actually found his son's ID once at the pool because it's Mac. I think his last name is Mackinvale. And I saw... And I saw a, uh, an ID at the pool with that name near the entrance, and, and I gave it to a lifeguard. The lifeguard runs to the guy and says, Oh, Mr. McInville, I found your ID. It's like, no, 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 I found your fucking ID, Mattress Max son. Anyway, so it's that guy's son that I found his ID, but I didn't even get any credit for it. So, anyways, what's my point? Son of a bitch lifeguard. Yeah. Now, I'm, I, 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 I'm going to look up the HOA here because the Redfin stuff said there's $33 HOAs. I don't care. Like, if the amenities are worth it, right? It's like, I don't know, I'd pay 500 bucks if you got a nice big pool. You didn't have leaf blowers, you know, and whatever. It's I'm going to guess that a lot of these HOAs that I've looked through, the covenants that they have, um, a lot of them are... There's going to be something in there about clotheslines. You cannot have clotheslines because we want to keep the poors away because it's 1932, the depression hit, and this is the one way we keep the poors out, is if they can't afford a drying machine or something, right? I, I'm guessing it's going to be in there. There's going to be no sanctions against leaf blowers. I'm actually going to call them about this. I'm going to call them about this. Because, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them, or whatever the phrase is, it's like, I don't know, you probably could do worse than a place like this, you know? And I'm thinking, you know, it's already built up. They said, uh, I, I don't know if I scrolled by the page and you saw high-speed internet. That's kind of a must these days, you know. In terms of, okay, maybe it's not perfect, but I want to look into it. But I'm guessing it's not going to be because, well, look, I, I'm, I'm interested in looking into this. I'm, I'm somewhat interested enough to, to actually do something with it because it might be interesting and it might be a little bit better. Um, looking at the acreage, I mean, it's the other issue with these, if I'm going to ramble it out is two to five acres. Well, some of them were like 1.75 sets. So like you guys are already kind of not telling us the truth. Um, but the other issue is of course the, the square foot minimums. Uh oh, there we go. We're back. I forgot. To, yeah, that doesn't matter. Just keep going, keep going, you know? 
What's my point? Damn it. Damn it. Two, two, three acres, five acres, I don't know. It's enough to, to have, what do you call it? To have a big pool, even if there's no community pool or whatever, or anything worth year round. And then you know, the next wave of COVID hits and then all the Karens shut it down just for safety. Oh my God, I want to strangle somebody. And, you know, and, uh, you know, so it's big enough to build a big enough pool to where I can swim in it. It's kind of a shame and all that, but maybe it's I, I I want to think positively that maybe I can't get a hundred percent of what I want, but let's let's see. But again, just to spit it out finally, the other issue, the other way to keep the poors away, which doesn't because it's the clothesline thing. It's it's always written in there. I'm gonna guess. Oh, there's actually a guy uh, near the. Uh, I'm not sure if we see it. He's on the side of the house. You might have to zoom in, but just trust me, there's a guy uh, near the faucet near the side of the house. Right. He's, he's washing his hands. Anyways, uh, so I think they're finishing up that house over there. Um, doesn't matter. The, what's my point? <sighs> no! <laughs> Did we? Are we? Are we still in <sighs> technology? Am I right? But anyway, so uh, what's my point? The other way to keep the pours out is to have minimum square feet so you don't build like tiny homes and stuff, which to me has always been obnoxious because I'm just one guy and even if I wanted some more people around, I don't like big houses. 3,000 square feet, holy shit. You know, that is just so obnoxious. You have to build something that big and then you can't. So I, so that's, we're going to look up the HOA documents. I, I will call and ask about this, but I will look up the HOA documents and we'll make that another video. Because there was another community that I mentioned. I haven't been able to find it before. But it was, oh, it's nice lake and no closed lines and nothing about leaf floors, right? So it's like, well, fuck that. But, you know, I would guess, yeah. Two to five acres, where two is actually one and three quarters, and not really even two. Um, I mean, look. No, let's think out loud. This is good. This is how we think. A, 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 an acre is 42,000 square feet. So the bullshit suburby stuff where I am, that's four or 5,000 square feet. Meaning, right. Now, because of all the roads and extra stuff, they pad it out more that's technically not yours. I've done the math on it that every yard, every property is actually double if you add all the community stuff, like the roads, the parks. If you, I've done the math before because, again, I have nothing better to do. So anything that's 4,000 square feet is actually eight if you add up the total square feet. I'm getting to it because it's important because it, the more acreage you have, the less of the shared stuff you have that way. Because the, oh, well, there we go. What's happening? Is it all? Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. But the point is, there's the bigger the lots, the less percentage of extra is is the um, is the uh, is is the roads and everything else. I don't think there's there might be a couple little community parks here. They they dedicate a lot or two, maybe a, a swing set for the kids. I don't know. I have to look that up, but the point is when you get to two, three, four, ten acres and you have lots like that, you don't have as much. So why am I saying this? So if, if I say I live in a 5,000 square foot, not house, but the property is 5,000, really the total area is 10,000. If I'm being hysterical about leaf blowers and technically everybody has a 10,000 square foot lot, if you spread everything out and everybody has 42 times two, 80,000, it's not really two, so it's really 70. So 70 versus 10. So divide by seven. Some of these properties are gonna be actually two acres, 84,000. Maybe some are gonna be two and a half. We didn't see any fives actually. It was, it was low twos. Okay, 100,000 square feet of property. Well, you know, add maybe another 10 for the roads to, to right? So the dividing number there is there's the density is one tenth of the population. Now, so I don't know how much of their this one doesn't look like they're keeping much of the, the trees because why would you? I mean, why would you keep trees? You know, they're just kind of in the way. 
Uh, or maybe there just weren't too many trees here anyways. There are a couple little meadowy places here. I don't know if they just destroyed all that. Oh, oh, good lord. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's fucking up. You know, so that sort of thing. Uh, you know, um... So the square foot... Okay, so... so if my issue is leaf blowers and they don't ban leaf blowers or they don't arrange for everybody to do it twice a month from 12 to 2 or whatever, right? Which would be what you would expect in a minimally cohesive environment, which you have nowhere apparently. Um, but just the natural number wise, it's, it's a tenth of the density, right? Because if that's what it is, it's not like you're going to be necessarily leaf blowing every square feet of this yard because you don't need to, well not that, again i not, don't need to start that discussion either but there's probably going to be less leaf blowing because there's a tenth of the people here okay let's say a tenth right that's about sounds about right could be about right because the lots are big and not every square inch of this property is going to be leaf blown right so that is a reduction of enough leaf blowage to where even if somebody's doing it, it's not like all that often, right? So again, I don't want to count this place. I might just, I don't know if I want to move it. I want to look it up. I want to look up some more. But the other issue is, again, the square footage of the property, of the, uh, of the house property, not the lot property, but the house. They have minimums. You know, you have to have at least uh, 2,000 uh, air conditioned or whatever. So you can't even build a nice big deck and say, gotcha. Hello. All right. So it is actually March 8th to 22. And this is about two or three weeks after I went out to the park and, and did the video. So I'm just inserting this. And it's taken a long time for me to start editing this together. But so I guessed, I guessed that the minimum square footage requirements is... 2,000 square feet. Wow. You go to the uh, websites, uh, frequently asked questions, okay, and then you get to their video, and let's listen now. People are coming here. The minimum square footage for your house is 2,000 square feet, and you can go as big as you want. I was right. So anyways, that's kind of fun, but that's the issue is, is you know, it's to keep the poors out from building small little things or whatever, but you can't trade off and say, all right, fine, I'll, I'll just spend the money on something else that I actually need. I don't need a big ass house. You can't do that. So that's, that's one of the annoyances. But anyways, gotcha. that's it for now. I built a nice fucking deck for myself. Nope, doesn't count because it's got to be enclosed and air conditioned and heated, you know. So... It's about 79 degrees today. It's nice and uh, 79, I think. Let's see. What is it right now? We're near Conroe, so that's 79. <laughs> 81, wow. Apparently we're now in Huntsville. I think if you're walking around half a mile or two, you get designated into a different area now. But where are we? All right, so. So I don't know, it's interesting. I mean, I it's one of those annoying things where and looking at costs, I mean costs have gone up everywhere, so I'm I'm sure that they love to just jack up the prices here. We'll see about that too, because even a hundred grand for two acres here? Jesus Christ, people. And that's before I have a single brick up, right? So you're not saving too much on the land, but whatever. And um well, it, it, it certainly isn't a forever home, but is it perhaps a little better? Because again, my main concern, and I want to video about this and stuff. I want to do a, a house porn video. I, this, is, this is on field. This is not a house porn video. House porn videos are where I'm at home looking at pic... Okay, well, we don't need to... That's where the name comes from. I have a couple of those videos lined up. I wanted to do a lake house that I was looking at years ago. And the main issue there was, again, the leaf blower noise issues and you have too many neighbors around. It was one of those typical lake house properties where, I don't know, three, four, five thousand square feet, maybe a little more. Kind of typical suburby bullshit thing, but it's a lake house. The issue is there's no pool. 
that's a big thing for me now. I'm going to do a video on that too, my strange history with pools. There was a time when I absolutely hated swimming, you know, after I sort of quit in high school. But I've gotten back around to it. It's kind of fun. Yesterday I was out at the outdoor pool. They didn't have shit music on. It was at night. Oh, it was beautiful. Nobody else was out there. And, oh boy. I don't need a massive, even a proper 25-yard, 75-foot pool. But I do need a pool. Like, I'm sorry. You know? Oh, look at that. We got, we got some sandals. <laughs> We got some, we got some food. Look at that apple jelly. <laughs> it looks like a biker. Somebody left this here. Um, let's see. Um, you know what? We'll do another video. Is am I gonna eat this? You know, apple jelly. Now, is this even one of these health foods, or is this just like you put apple jelly on? Oh, this is just for like toast or something. This is not one of those. Let's just put ingredients. Where are the ingredients? Apple juice, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, pectin, potassium sorbate as a preservative. You know, I thought it was one of those, you know, I don't know what the name is like, Cliff, not Cliff Bar. I like Cliff Bars are fine, but they have the liquid version of those. I thought it was one of these things. Oh, it must be some new brand of apple juice. No, it's literally just gross apple jelly you're supposed to put on like toast or something or wherever you put where do you put apple jelly apple jelly it's disgusting so i'm not even gonna you know tease this i'm not eating that with these dirty child sand <laughs> apple jelly and dirty child sandals that's uh flip-flops yeah so So yeah, I do need a pool. Um, that is unfortunately the reality of it is it's just good to work out in. You don't, I don't do laps anymore. You know, like yesterday, I what I might do is I do like a, a 25 there, 25 back, 50 yards in the big pool. And I do, I did a kick set. Well, not a, really a set. I did 50 yards of kicking and I got kind of a ripe 36 seconds. Which is good, because as far as I'm concerned, that's been my high whatever. So, just I, I usually just walk in the pool, kind of run, sprint, you know, in the pool. And that keeps me in shape, and it's not as boring. It's a lot more relaxing than just doing boring laps, you know. Although, again, you, you hear the music if they're playing it, so that sucks, right? And that's the other thing with the leaf blowers is like, yeah, sometimes it's just nice to sit out here. You can't do this where, you know, the first video in this series that we're slicing together, it's like, it's Monday, so there we go. Uh, the next door neighbor and uh, half the people on the block are having their, uh, you know, leaf blowing done. And uh, checks date, February 21st. February 21st. No leaves. And even if there's leaves, who gives a shit? Like, this is what happens when there's no leaf blowers around. And if there's enough people walking by, it just makes a perfectly... Am I showing the path? It, yeah, okay. Well, I think you've seen a path before in your life, but the point is, right? Who cares? There's some leaves here. There's some pine needles. Who gives a shit? These are fine. You know, and there's some apple jelly and some dirty flip-flops. So that's fine too. You know? Like, who cares? February 20 fucking 1st. I, you know? Because that's the other thing is, oh, well, you just sit outside in your yard. It's like, yeah, sit outside and then add leaf blower. You know? It's like you just can't do that. You just can't do that. And it, it's not even the noise. It's it's literally the, the, the gas. You know? I was just choking on the gas today again. It's like, oh, it's nice, relaxing, you know, 80 decibels, and you're sniffing on gas. You know? Unbelievable. And again, it, it is like an electric shock collar because you can never anticipate when it's coming. You know it's coming, but you just can never know. I mean, technically, I kind of know they're coming on Wednesday generally. During the winter, it's every two weeks only because we know so much leaves fall in two weeks in February. Absolutely. You know, 
uh, that they need to be here. Maybe not every week. That's that's the allowance for the winter is is they come only every two weeks. All right, every two weeks is good enough now. And again, it's it's just gas. You're sniffing fucking gas. So, oh, let me let me go take a walk half a mile down the street. Well, then there's another crew there. So sniff gas and and listen to this bullshit all day long. Oh my god, I'm just so tired of it. So so fucking tired. You know. And again, it's a lack of community as well. But even if we were just to focus on just the basic things that, okay, just you're going to be alone forever. Yeah, okay, that's kind of miserable. But at least it's nice and quiet. You can sit out here. You know, there's a nice pool. That's a good start. And then, brrr, and you're sniffing gas. I mean, it's it's not even like, oh, you can, oh, if you if you sniff a little bit, you can, it's a faint sniff of gas. No, 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 it's, it's just choking me, you know? Unbelievable. So, so we'll check this out. I mean, you know, it's one of those things where, yeah, you know what, I, I've been meaning to talk about this stuff. I just, too lazy or whatever, and I uh, but yeah, I, I also want to check out another place that's a little more, uh, maybe two or three hours here. There's a big, there's a couple big lakes here that aren't too, there's a couple big lakes that are kind of, you know, uh, developed and, and probably too many people and stuff, but there's a few where it's, it's, I looked at some light pollution maps as well, which, which is also a great proxy for not too many people. And it's like, well, okay, it's, it's pretty much far out there, but I don't know. If I want to, well, we'll take a look at those two. I want to, I want to do this year where I, I start to do a little more because it's just so frustrating with the same old, same old, you know, so frustrating. It was, I think that's it for now. Um, so we'll look this up. We'll see what the minimum square footage to build here. Because that's the other thing is to keep the pours out, you know, it's, it's also then it's, you, you have to build often, again, they often have square foot footage requirements for buildings where you have to build 2,000 square feet or whatever. I don't want 2,000 square feet. I mean, it's, it's, even if I had a family, I wouldn't want 2,000 square feet. It's just too much, you know? And then you have to spend more on everything else. You have to spend more on the utilities. You have to spend more if there's any repairs, you know? You got a bigger house. There's a bigger roof. There's more more places for it to leak. There's more square footage of roof to do, right? And then redo, and then oh my god, you know it's just obnoxious. I don't know. I have like a heated garage or so. Uh, heads up, there was an outage. Okay, who knows? I don't care. Um, it is nice to be out here. It is nice to sit. Just listen to the, uh... You know what? Let's do another fun game, alright? Well, I don't... Th you know, I wanted to do a sound meter app. That might interfere with the microphone and everything, so we'll just... I'll, I'll take a screenshot and maybe I'll include it in later, but... I'm curious to know when the winds are kind of a little bit going, what the uh, sound meter is. Well, how many decibels it is. I've done I've done heavy rain where it's like 75 decibels. I think I'm out on the patio. It's it's loud. And 75 decibels is also when the leaf blowers are even down the street far away. It's 75. It echoes back to my place. It's like well I, that's horrible. But 75 decibel rain I could sleep to that. You know. So it's it's not the noise level. It's the kind of noise, right? This is great. You could sleep to this. Maybe not, not the... It might come up as the wind uh, hitting the microphone. I don't know. But just the natural... You know... The kind of natural symphony here is, is pretty good. So anyways, I think that's it for now. I'm sure I'll have some more to say, but that's it for now. Alright, so I guess you'll have to take my word for it, but the um, the usual, yeah, here's another house that's been built up here. See, that's kind of annoying, listening to cars go by, it is. 
I, that might be construction trucks, so that just might be as long as they're building it. But I obviously, you'll have to take my word for it, but uh, the noise from the windy trees and, and leaves and stuff, it's anywhere from 50 to 75, maybe even getting closer to 80. But it's not an annoying noise. So, right, when, when it's the most loud, 75, 80 decibels, that's pretty loud, but... Like, I'm not annoyed by it at all, right? Leaf blowers, on the other hand, you know, if it's if it raises it just a little bit, it's just absolutely just irritating like there's no tomorrow. Anyways, that's it for now. All right, so this is, I think, the same house, but look at this weird little backyard thing they've built. I am so tempted to just take that. But, but there's a name for those stones, isn't there? The, the center load-bearing stone. Now, I don't know if, if there, there could be like some rebar going through it so it just looks that way, right? But I know that if you're, you're like a good engineer, you know what you're doing, you can actually make it so that it's just holding itself up. Oh, look, there's some firewood. So anyways, that's it for now. I don't have much time, they might be home, so I don't know how creepy it is to be filming other people's houses, but here we go. Now look at how close they built to the park, right? Like this is... <laughs> Um, okay, could you put up a fence? No, probably not. But, have you spied? Have you spied the uh, offender? Oh, I, I swear to God, it's like I have to be making this stuff up, right? So there's two things that already... I just noticed another thing that will annoy the fuck out of me. Can you can you spot the two things? There are two th Maybe there's more. Uh, there's two things that are supremely annoying. Can we do that? Can we figure that out? I, this is just shouted out. There are no, there are wrong answers. There's two correct answers. Okay. So look at the insanity that is. These are honestly the biggest wind chimes I have ever seen in my life. These are at least two or three feet. You can hear it. So imagine having neighbors like this, where you have... You know, here, here's the thing with wind chimes. You love wind chimes? What you can do is you can drill a hole in your ceiling, in your living room, and point a fan at them. And then you can listen to them all day long, right? But again, that's not the, the worst offender. Uh, wind chimes are another horrible thing. Okay, look at that. Yes, that is in fact a leaf blower. So that's basically what we have going on, is we have a leaf blower. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like I'm, I'm like the director here and saying, hey, uh, put up a leaf blower, make a house super fucking close to the state park where literally you can walk across it because they didn't even bother uh, putting a fencing in, right? And put up the world's biggest wind chimes, number one. Also, just, just, just have a leaf blower sticking out of a box, you know? J just for funsies, you know? <laughs> so there are leaf blowers here, right? Now, those were the um, kind of electric ones, so... I mean, they're, they're crap too, but it's just, yeah, so. All right, so I guess the confusion is, you know, when I hear the words, the woodlands, I imagine this, and I imagine hearing this. Kind of crickets. 
there is a freeway near here and that's always been sort of a white noise and you can hear it it doesn't bother me i would prefer just the crickets or the toads or whatever the hell this is right but when you say the woodlands right this is what i imagine right right so i think the confusion is when you call a place the woodlands like the wood the woodlands texas and I don't get this, but I get a lot of leaf blowers. It's like, what the fuck, guys? You know? It's like they call it Greenland. You show up and it's full of ice and weird Eskimos. I, this is an Eskimo land. This is an ice land. You call it Greenland. So what's up with all these Eskimos? You know? Anyways. So, yeah, this is... I, I, I just forget I kind of like this place a lot, you know? Sometimes it's rainy, so, you know, what are you going to do here? It's uh, unless you have a hut or something, you know. Um, I've been coming out here to kayak a lot more, and I may, might still have an hour or so to do that uh, when I get back in about 20 minutes. Um, but I've been kayaking here for the last year or so, especially with the whole uh, hmm, health uh, issues, alleged health issues going on. It was easier just to come out here and kayak instead of hiking because, you know, I've been been hiking here for what 10 15 years something like that so i did kayaking but i just i just i guess i forgot over the last few years that now it's this place is hiking it's a lot of fun you know so but this is what i would expect is okay maybe you hear an airplane every once in a while or something like that but you know during the day or whatever i don't even know where that's coming from but it's like okay a couple little noises, I don't really care. But it's just nice and calming, and I'm not choking on gasoline fumes. You know? <laughs> like, so insane. You know? Also, you can blow three pieces of dirt around, and so fucking insane. It'd be nice, you know, a nice small little house, and you got a nice big pool. You could do that, and Ah, nice and, you know, that'd be a good start, I guess. All right, so I was here a few months ago, and uh, apparently a bunch of stuff changed here. You know, boathouse closed until construction is complete. Close, close, close. That's very interesting to me. They, okay, so they haven't demolished the boathouse yet. Um, you can't really go down there. Oh, wow, there's a dam around. Oh, my God, now I definitely want to get on the kayak. Holy shit, look at that. I don't know. If... So that used to be the piers. You can, oh, that was the pier right there. Just imagine concrete or something. And they dam that up. It's like a coffer dam or whatever they call it. I always thought it was coffee dam. Coffer dam, I think it's... So this is what I was seeing from the other side. Holy shit, this is so interesting. Now I definitely want to paddle up here. I don't know where I can put the boat in. No, there's no tape around here. Wow. No, there's no tape here, right? I can get in here. No, this is fine. Oh, so this is the, uh, wow. Oh, that beeping is getting really annoying. Is it from the construction equipment? Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. It's a dam around it. Let's get a good shot of this. See, look at that. That's where the, um, let's zoom in here. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, you can, oh, no, no, no. That's where the water is coming in. That is awesome. That beeping is not, but that's fine. You know? 
Wow, I, I definitely want to come see this. I just want to know where I can put the boat in because this is where I used to put the boat in. Let's see where we can. Wow, that's amazing. I hate to go camping with that noise around here though, right? Ooh, what is this? Is this some snack or something? Some kind of... I don't want to open it, but... I don't know what that is. It, it's some hunting camouflage thing. I'm not familiar with it. It's not like towelettes or something. Wow. There's a the little swimming pier down there. So could I... Okay, so we can't go here. That's off limits too. Okay, no, no, we can put the boat down here by the uh, buoys for the pool area or the uh, swimming area to keep the sharks out. And, uh, because we could go all the way down over there, yonder over there, and dump the boat in, but there's no point. We could just walk, we could just walk down here. We're not really bothering anyone down here, right? Is there? Eesh. Well, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's really muddy here. What the hell is this? Like, I don't understand what this is. Is this some staging area? But why would you do that? Wow, that's crazy stuff. Um, and then we have a bunch of buoys here. You know what? Let's get the, the show on the road because we need to, right? <laughs> If we're going to have to paddle another 10 minutes here, the sun's going to go down, so. All right, we're doing this. All right, so we did it, and right in front of us, right in front of us is that thing that we looked at just five minutes ago. So we're going to paddle there and uh, check out the coffer, coffee, coffer dam. Yeah. All right, so we can hear the crickets. There definitely is a leak in the boat, but um, I was noticing it was going a bit flat, but uh, we'll figure this out on our way back. We'll have plenty of time to uh, screw around with that, but we have enough air, I think. Is that us? Yeah, I think that's us. We are here at the Flexi Float. Oh, it's making its own echo. Echo, echo. All right, that's pretty cool. All right. This metal. All right. I wish I had a little tripod here, but... Alright, so we're going to see the uh, the dam over here. This is so cool. You can also see the uh, boat sinking a little more because just a few minutes ago it was... I don't think we're going to sink, but you can hear it still. And uh, you can see that it makes more of a dimple when I put my feet there. Anyways, let's keep paddling. All right, so we are... Here's the boat. Here's this. It's, what, a good 10 feet? There's the aggressive squirting through the uh, coffee da coffer dam. Ooh, I don't want to drop this. 
right there. There is a hole in there. back to normal yeah that beeping's not getting any better but anyway so you have this uh, you have you have these new new piers here uh, you have the lake house that's kind of gutted there no oh boy we're floating away and uh, that's pretty neat I wonder where they put all the little swan boats and the paddle boats and whatever. But uh, they got their little makeshift ladders and all this stuff. That's pretty neat. I don't think I've seen it, seen something like this up close like this. So. Pretty, pretty neat. All right, so before the sun completely sets on us and we completely... Uh, what do you call it? Sink. Let's go to that thing over there. I think I've been on that before. I don't know if I captured it. It's this floating thing. It's going to be hard to get on because the water levels are just so low. We'll get to it. All right, so we. this is really... The water level is super low. I don't think I've ever seen it this low. We're scraping against this metal thing here. This, uh, oh, boy. We're floating away. Well, it's for the best. I don't think I want to get up here now because we can't really anchor the boat down. This is at least, what, three feet out of the water? Yeah, the uh, wind is picking up, so. Well, this is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, there's a little ball's holding me up. See, I can do it with uh, two hands then. But anyways, so I don't hear any music. That's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, 30 minutes out here is good. Two.